Stay tuned because in this episode we check out the rock pools in Cape Cordrin. We attempt fishing on the beautiful 80 mile beach and we get into some fishing action around Portsmouth Inlet. Morning, we've just arrived to Cape Cordrin. We're just heading up to the sign to have a little read. $12 vehicle entry. This is a Shire site, not National Park, so Parks Pass doesn't count here. And $10 per adult. And $3 for the kids. So $29 bucks a night. Plus our initial $12. Alrighty. So this is Cape Corodron. I don't know if you can see ahead of me all the caravans and stuff just parked up. Yeah, tide goes out a long, long, long way here. So there's all these rock pools and mud pools. So kids are just having an explore while we settle in. better show you all our setup at Cape Corodron. Um, we're on Sandy Beach. Um, it's just a big gravel area really with some pit toilets. Summer's got little hermit crab she's adopted as a pet. <laughs> His name's, her name's Pearly. Pearly. Let's see how long you can keep it as a pet for, eh? Yeah. <laughs> So this is set up, we've dropped all the front today because it's been really windy and it's dead low. So out the front here, really low, the sea's way out there. It came in at 10.30 today, but it's gone again. We've just been out mud crabbing, but didn't see anything big worthwhile catching. There was another old mate out there who got a good one though. Uh, so it's burgers for tea for us tonight. Hey guys, we are leaving Cape Cordron. Uh, the weather didn't really play ball for us here, so we didn't even bother to get the boat off. Um, and yeah, it was really windy, it was rainy, so we only stayed two nights in the end and just had the day in between, which was quite a lazy one. Yeah. We explored just the rock pools and some of the low tide areas for some muddies. Yeah, no mud crabs. Yeah, just little fellas. So yeah, it was still good to see. Um, there's heaps of life around and I think, yeah, you just would probably need a tinny to get to some more. Some of those remote streams to get into some crabs and yeah, yeah it was some good fishing out here. It's just, just the weather really. Yeah, just didn't pay ball for us. So we've got a short drive this morning. We're just going to head up 100 k's up to 80 mile beach. 
to the caravan park and uh, we'll see what the situation is there but it's still really overcast it's still raining and it's still blowing a gale so yeah we'll be a bit more protected there hopefully though yeah and um we probably won't get the boat out but we might do some beach fishing there yeah so, that's good be good all right There's a lot of colors I don't know where to go See a lot of colors Only feeling blue There's a lot of colors Lost within a haze Don't rely on others To get you through the maze Drowning in the sea There's too many voices Talking back at me There are a lot of choices Waiting to be made Too many choices Making me afraid Another of the world's smallest trevally. Oh, GT miniature version. Miniature. Look at that. Look at that fire bar. I hope it was scoffed the whole thing. Oh, it's not going to end well for the little fella. Did we catch any fish? No. No. He didn't, did we? Nope. Sharks. Because the other guys just caught sharks. We've moved on from 80 Mile Beach and we've pulled up only about 180 k's up the road to Port Smith. It's a caravan park. Um, it's not really well known but the fishing's meant to be quite good in this area from the tinny. So yeah we didn't have much luck with the beach fishing yesterday and we just didn't really have the time to hang around. There wasn't a whole lot for the kids to do. Um, so we thought we'd get up here where we could get the tinny off and try and get into some areas. We're just coming for a walk now. The tides are crazy at the moment. So there's a 10 metre tide tomorrow. Um, so we're just coming out to explore at mid tide um, with it outgoing. So that apparently you don't want to get caught out on the incoming because you it comes in faster than you can walk. So yeah, I'll just show you around. It's all pretty muddy apparently what we're walking through is what they call the lagoon that is lovely to swim in at high tide uh, there's car tracks heading out here and apparently you can drive out at low but being mid tide just not sure how much water's underfoot so we didn't want to risk it on our first afternoon so this is just more of a recce mission morning guys this is our uh, first first day at Portsmouth. Uh, we're just south of Broome, a couple of hundred days. Uh, Liam and I are just heading out for a fish. Uh, big tides today. We've just had a full moon a couple of days ago, um, and so we're 10, 10 I think it is 10.2 meter tide today. Yesterday was a 9.2 meter tide. So uh, where we are at the moment is where we walked um, out here last night for a look at low tide and it's um, we had to walk three quarters of a kilometre to get to the to get to the, uh, to get to the water. But yeah, pretty, pretty massive tides up here. It's just all mangroves, oh, I see the mangroves just come through a bit of an entrance behind me there. The only reason I sort of know where I'm going is because we were here yesterday and there was no water and we're just walking out here. 
shoot straight out, lay them and, um, out into that river mouth. And then we'll just cut around, I think, and fish some of that uh, rock structure. And um, try and keep out of this wind, it's pretty windy for our little tinny. And uh, we'll let you know how it Liam's on his first fish for the day. <laughs> Here he comes. Oh! We've just come out to the entrance of this uh, little, I don't know, it's a, like a river system. A big lagoon. Pull her up, Liam, pull him up. Pull him up before he gets in that reef. Oh, nice. Bring him in. Bring him in. Oh, nice fish, Liam. Is that a TT? That's a type of um, trevally, I'm not too sure. We'll have a look on the map, on the uh, on the app. Let's line out, mate. Yeah. Awesome, that was good, Liam. Liam saw the school of fish as we were just um, driving along. Nice. And then hooked it with a softie. Look at the teeth on that, Liam. Oh. Don't put that near me. Yeah. Look at the dental work on that. On Liam's on another good fish. Oh, oh it's, a, it's a beauty cod. These things are most, supposed to be really good eating. And it's amazing, like, we're just dragging lures along, along the edge of this little outlet here. And uh, for a cod to come out of his hole, and come up and grab that lure is pretty impressive, alien. Eh, well, I think that's us. We're going to feed for the day, Liam, and uh, we better get home. This tide's starting to crank out now. Just coming back in. Just been fishing out, out the entrance there. And yeah, we're just coming back in here through the mangroves where we walked out yesterday. Probably could have came out a little bit earlier today, but we didn't really know the area. Let's see how deep it is down there. It's uh, saying 2.2, looks like about 4. Yeah, we probably could have come out a couple of hours earlier than what we did. Um, the water was in a bit, a bit sooner than what I expected. Um, but it's just amazing the currents here. The 10 metre tide, it's just cranking. We probably had, could have stayed out for another hour, but the stace would be home by one so we've got a feed we've got a cod and uh, and a trev so um, we're good enough for dinner anyway hi guys so this afternoon we're taking a drive and just exploring the area really yeah. hey and um, we've just called into the caravan park office the ladies are really knowledgeable there um, about where to go for fishing and what tides and where to go to explore so uh, because Tony had been out on the boat with Liam this morning I was quite keen to go and do some fishing this afternoon out at the cliffs but uh, the tides are all wrong so we'll save the cliffs for another day um, she said that a place called Gordon Bay is really nice to visit um, so we've just hit a four wheel drive track ahead of us now um, to cruise up there uh, there was also another place called Cowrie Bay, did she say? Cowrie yeah, Bay? I think that's further south. Yeah, slightly further south, uh, which was nice to visit. But all of them, you do need to have a permit from the local um, Aboriginal Corporation, which I think was the Kawajari tribe. Um, so you can just purchase that online. So we've just done 30 bucks for three days of exploring and fishing. So that's us. Uh, we'll just go see what sites we can find. <laughs>
comes the poisonous fog. <laughs> it's midgey o'clock at Portsmouth Caravan Park. And here comes the guy. <laughs> Killing all the midgeys. Australia, we head off to enjoy an evening at the campground watching a live performance by Sally Jane. Due to copyright laws, we're unable to bring you the live audio from Sally Jane's music performance. However, the songs you're about to listen to are all her originals and we really hope you enjoy your music. Life's hardest lesson up hanging out with Sally Jane and her father a fair bit over the following week. We really encourage you that if you like her music to please check out the description where I've attached the links and you can find more of her stuff. I'll kiss you when the rain comes I'll hold you to the soaking's done We'll dance around thanking the Lord for a new life starting I'll cry when the mirrors flow Sing hallelujah and it's bending, so it must be a good fish. Take your time, fire it out, oh, it might be a queen. You can see the blue to silver down there. 
Pretty hard morning fishing. Kids, kids have been super bored. We've eaten all our lunch. But yeah, everything's just starting to go on the bite a little bit. Awesome. Here we are in paradise. Nice and soft, nice and yep. Put it between your legs if you need to, it can be a bit easier. Is that nice and soft? Let him don't want it to pull out. Can you tip up? Can you tip up? Did you? I oh, know. We just went fishing and we came back and we were fresh in cold drink of water after a big long hot day and we're just down here to catch some mullet for bait for tomorrow's fishing. So I'll catch you when we catch some mullet. Dad just casted. Let's see. Got a few. Yeah, we got three or four in there. Yeah, got so it. I can grab the bucket. Yep. Fish. Pick up the bucket. Get some water in there. Joe and the big fish. This is just in there. Good mullet. So we can catch some more. Fish got the whole family on board today, eh? Ah, we just left Liam back there, somewhere back there through the mangroves. He's hopefully hanging out. The tide's coming in at a great rate of knots, and uh, I'm just going to take Stace and the kids, pop them on a beach over the other side, and uh, then I'll come back and get Liam. The water is just so blue. What we're on is going to be an island, so we need to get over to that shade sail over there, probably within the hour. Summer's 
go the long time. That'll be bait for today, Summer. Good girl. Go, Hunter. You got this. Yes, Hunter. Oh, I can see it. Go, go, go. Keep on going, have to wind, wind, fast as you can. Go! Oh boy, keep going! I'm trying to hook it up, it is there! Yeah, get this tension, I keep the tension on. Towards Liam, speed. Go, go, go. Want some help? Right. I'm trying as hard as I can. It's nearly here. Good. It's going to happen. But he did really well. Yeah. He did really well. How long did you fight it for, Liam? Oh, oh, it was probably a good five minutes. Yeah, nice. So, oh, no, I filmed for over two minutes. <laughs> then I got tired of filming. Because <laughs> it kept coming to the boat and then going away. And then the shark started chasing it. And that was the beginning of the end. 
end of it. That was the end we're of just the having year. a little swim in the lagoon here. Oh, yeah, we're through the boat. Apparently safe. I don't know how they worked it out really, but everyone else swims here, so we are too. Well, some people say there's a good croc here, eh? Right? Yeah. Didn't see any, uh, we had a good look for flies, didn't see any flies, really. Because there is a good croc. Maybe the croc's only here in the cyclone or wet thing. <laughs> hey guys, that's a wrap. Just leaving Portsmouth. Heading to Barn Hill. So we haven't been to Barn Hill before, so we'll go and have a look and see what it's like. We couldn't fit Barn Hill Station into this episode, guys. Sorry about that. So stay tuned for it in the next episode. And after Barn Hill, we reach our beloved broom and its most magical sunsets.